Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vase Plays Double Drop. We're going to take out the Beast Keeper today. Uh, I know, I just took her out recently, but she's new, uh, so I want to showcase her again now that uh, I'm not necessarily going to be talking about the, the current build. We've had a couple days to kind of acclimate and discuss uh, the build, so I think uh, we can move on and, you know, just play the game regularly and not worry so much about um, any of, any of that, that stuff, so... Obviously, I will talk about the game because we're playing the game, but um, we'll have a little bit more of a, you know, free-willed, regular Voss-style uh, double drop video than what might have been in the last couple videos. So, um, and, and to facilitate that, I actually have a topic. Um, I, as, as anyone who's been a long-time watcher of the, the uh, series... And this is a dead end, so we can just uh, write this way off completely. Awesome. So yes, anyone who is a longtime viewer of the series or my channel will know I do a lot of cooking content as well as gaming content. Um, and right now there's not a whole lot linking the two. Um, obviously, uh, it's it would be difficult to do that. Oh, yep, that was a mistake. Um, Nope. Ow. Yep. Turning everything in this room to to, to ow, meatloaf. Basically, uh, you know, uh, really threatening that that little item. Pretty, it knocked us down pretty well. So anyway, um, as we were saying, uh, so my idea is to kind of take my my game reviews, which I've you know I've done several, and uh, I'm I'm pretty happy with most of them, um, as it were. But to to merge some some food stuff. Oop. Cool, we got a wand. Um, nice that we got that on the back draft. Um, so yeah, I, I I have this idea called Indie Brew. I, I might have t discussed this before, but uh, if I haven't, uh, here we go. Where I will do a beer review on top of a game review, or at the same time as a beer review, or at, at the same time as a game review. And I, I have some ideas on how to structure it so that um, you know. And I, 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 to be honest, you know, uh, if you're doing two reviews at once, uh, you run the risk of kind of overlapping and uh, not giving one or the other its its due diligence. Um, and that's bad. <laughs> um, I think we can all agree on that. So that's definitely a hurdle of this kind of series. Um, and again, I think it's it's honest to to say, hey, there there are some there are some pitfalls that this series can have, um, both to myself to admit that to myself and to the the viewer. Um, but yeah, again, I, I have some ideas to structure it, and you know, um, if it's a good idea and it sticks and people like it, uh, obviously I'll, I'll get feedback on what to do better, and I, I really like the feedback, um, so uh, hopefully I that won't so stop. Um, um, I probably shouldn't. I actually I killed the uh, the plague rat with my body. I don't know if you guys actually saw uh, how that went down, but that was actually really cool. Um, we gotta be careful not to, uh, to hit that because, yep, we'll take damage just like we did there. Um, so yeah, I, I, th I like I said, I, th I think I've got a way of, of putting this show together that will be cool and interesting and where I won't, um, necessarily, uh, focus on just the beer or just the game. Um, so, um, look forward to that, I suppose. Get hype. Um, but that leads to other questions like what what makes a game review good? Um, is it focusing on I mean obviously there are there are elements of games where we can objectively say that's a good design that's a bad design um, so you know things like control how does the game control that is an, that is definitely an objective measurement on a good game or a bad game um, unlike to me art I think art, and, and music are completely subjective, and um, I, I don't want to say not worth the time to review. Jeez, oh, this is wrecking me today. All right, so let's keep the ghosts from. There we go. Okay, I think I think we're, we'll we'll be okay. There we go. So yeah, um, so I don't necessarily think judging a game by its its art. I, I, I think certainly you can say I think the art's bad, but you know, the art doesn't do it for me. But at the same time, ooh, 
uh, it's it's difficult to, to say objectively that the art is bad unless you know it's like uh, you know stick figures done by a three-year-old. I think then we can reasonably make a claim on the the value of the art itself. Um, kind of rambling and, and like I said, this is gonna be a regular uh, Va review, so our Va episode of Delver's Drop. But yeah, I, I think that's important to take into consideration, and um, I will do my best. I like to think that I, I'm pretty objective when it comes to games. Um, I try to see both sides of every argument. Not that every argument has two sides. Um, it's important to note that that's not necessarily... Ah, yep, the case. Um, I really like these new sp spite traps, but I think they may actually be a little too fast. Um, some people may disagree, but I think maybe the, the speed could be toned down just a little bit on those spike traps. Um, that may make them a little less lethal like they used to be, but, um, you know, for slower delvers, um, maybe that's the point. But yeah, um, art, music, both of them are pretty subjective, and again, while you should, of course, talk about them in the game, because I think that they do add to the ambiance and all that, I don't necessarily think that um, the art or the music, independent of one another, um, makes or breaks a game. I, there are definitely uh, games with really bad sound effects and really bad art that are intrinsically not good because of those things, but I don't necessarily think that those are the only things that make them good or bad. Um, I think I think controls, definitely, UI, definitely, those, those are things that really do make a, or break a game. If the, if the controls of a game is... Uh, are awful and rotten, then you really have no choice but to call a spade a spade in, in those cases. Um, and I can think of quite a few. Delver's Drop is not one of those. Delver's Drop's controls are pretty good. So, um, hooray party, I guess. Um, I'm really hoping that we can get ourselves some bean soup. Nice. Yep, we can get enough bean soup to last us down to the next floor. Um, and there we go. All right. It's always a crapshoot with this build. Um, so yeah, I, 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 I do treasure being objective, but at the same time, I, I think, you know, a little bit of person, you know, you, you can't remove bias 100%. Uh, that is one thing that I think is really important to note. There's no truly 100% objective review. Um, at least I've never seen one. We are colored by our beliefs, and beliefs are not a choice. Um, so you are going to make decisions on games. Um, sep you know, you you, you make a, you had to make value judgments. Um, I I don't think price is one. That, obviously, um, a game that is not that is really expensive, like a seventy dollar indie game, that's really unique. I don't think I've actually ever. Well, that's not true. Planetary. Annihilation is like 60 bucks, or it was. I think it'll be 30 bucks when it's all said and done. Um, but you know that 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 there you go, uh, right there. Uh, is is Planetary Annihilation worth buying when it's 70 bucks? No. Um, I really hate to say, well, this game is not worth X or Y, because uh, uh, it, it's really hard to put a, a value judgment on somebody else's work. Um, I, someone actually said to me, I really like Delver's Drop, but I don't think it's worth $15. And, and my, my comment was, well, w what would you pay for this then? And they said, I don't know. And it's like, well, if you don't know what you'd pay for the game, then it seems unfair to say I certainly wouldn't pay $15 for it. You had to take in, you know, and that may, again, this is all personal opinion. I really, you know, I, I try to preface, you know, this so that hopefully no one gets offended because, you know, the very last thing I'd want to do is offend anybody. Um, and perhaps, you know, that's a detriment to my review style as well. And and that's something that really will color, it will color, it, it does color, it colors everything that I do is the, um, the fear that someone will be offended. Um... And, you know, there are some times when you just kind of have to bite the bullet and say, this is what I believe, and I'm sorry if you don't like it. Um, but, you know, uh, these are these are the internal musings of a uh, potentially crazy brain. Um, oh, hey, double whip. Um, so, yeah, I, I think all in all, I have a, I would, I'll, I'll enter this with a pretty good review structure, I guess is where this is coming from. But, you know, you guys let me know. 
Um, you know, if you guys think that there are some things that I've left out in what I think makes a good game or a bad game, then... You know, I'll, I'll, I'll sum it up. Controls, art, music, and uh, layout of the game, I suppose. The UI, as it were. I think those are all really important. Um, price, again, you know, if you, if you don't want to buy a game uh, that's, you know, 20 bucks... I understand, man. Uh, I, I don't I don't have a lot of money, disposable income. Games are expensive, and they're not necessary to life. Um, at least most people's lives. Uh, obviously, uh, being a game, uh, a, a video game YouTuber, they are important to me because I play them uh, to hopefully entertain others. Um, so uh, I suppose it's all different. Um, but yeah, I I understand, you know. But a lot of indie games are like five, ten dollars. That's the price of like a meal at Burger King, man. You can't go without a, a, a Big Mac or a, a Subway sandwich for a day or two, or for a month or a paycheck, uh, you know, to buy a game. I, you know, a asking fifteen dollars for a, an indie game, I don't think is unfair anymore, especially considering just how much effort and time and works go into the indie games that, you know, a lot, I don't, I, I don't want to say, I don't think people understand how much time and effort goes into indie games. I, I think there's a misconception, a misconception that indie games are, are cheap or easy to make. Um, and there's one other thing, uh, it, because we're on the fourth floor, so our, our time is rapidly decreasing to, for me to ramble on to you about, uh, this, that, and the other thing. Um, how a dev team holds themselves with the community. Um, I actually think that's real. I think that's important. Um, I, I don't necessarily think it should color your view of a game, necessarily. Um, obviously, that is something that is personal opinion. Um, but to me, knowing that a dev team is uh, very outspoken and outreaching with their, their game, and Delver's Drop is definitely uh, the example that I will use. They do they do weekly live streams. They're always around on their forums. Uh, their their inf their content information is openly displayed in you know easy to find locations. I th I think um, I do think that it it matters the report that you have with the community at large. Um, if you guys, if, if the dev team are a bunch of egotistical, ass egotistical assholes who will content ID claim videos that give them bad press, I think that matters. I think, I think that that matters more than anything, actually. And if the dev team, you know, are, you know, donating to Child's Play, for example, um, I think that matters too. Or doing live streams to, to raise money, like, um... You know, I, I think that matters. I think that that needs to be taken into consideration. Um, not maybe not necessarily for the game as a as a whole, but overall, I think that I think that does matter. Um, you, I mean, you can make an awesome game and be the biggest cocksucker um, in in the in the community. Um, th that has you know your your attitude. Um, has no bearing on the product that you make, but it certainly, at, at least for me, colors how I feel about giving you money. Um, you know, if you go out kicking puppies every day, I don't necessarily want to support you financially, and I think that's fair. And I and I think, um, you know, I'm I'm more likely to support. Oh, I actually got hit. Ah, good. That is really good to see. I don't know if you guys noticed uh, what just happened there, but I actually got hit uh, by a flying rock and it took and it de dealt damage to me. That is good. That is really good. Um, that is exactly what I've wanted to see for a long time. I'm glad I could showcase it there. Um, so go back into the video and and make sure that you totally see that happening. But yeah, I, I think that all you know, it's really important that um, I I would prefer I want to give my money to 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 game companies who have a positive interaction with the community at large because I want to engender that sort of um oh I love when things kill themselves oh oh please stop moving um please stop moving
Uh, there needs to be a way for it. I mean, uh, an object at rest stays at rest. An object at motion stays at motion until it runs into something. I really would like to see. Oh, here it goes. Uh, we're in for some rough times, folks. We need to get away. We need to get away. Don't turn it into hamburger. Um, so yeah, I, I think these things matter. Um, like uh, Phil Fish. Uh, when that whole criticism came out. Um, does Phil Fish's attitude make Fez a bad game? No. Um, I, I will say it, uh, no. At all. Not at all. It does not change how I feel about about uh, Fez. Um, does it, however, um, make me more leery to buy any games that he would have made since he's, you know, he's not making video games anymore. He stopped uh, making video games. As far as I know, that was the last thing I heard about Phil Fish. Um, yeah, it does. Actually, um, it, it kind of does. Does it affect me enough to... Does his attitude, at least in this case, affect me enough to not want to buy any of his games? No, probably not. Um, I... Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay! Spiderlings! Is there a giant spider in here? No. That is awesome! Okay, I need to, uh, save this. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's a ton of tiny little spiders in here. They're so small. They're so small. They are so small. I'm gonna kill all of them. That is awesome. I, I, the, 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 the runs I've done off camera have just been giant gobbles. That's new. This is another new thing. We're discovering new things all the time, folks. Welcome, welcome to uh, Vaz Delver Log. Oh, that is really cool. Um, I need to post this on the forums, too. So, yeah, uh, you know, I, I apologize for rambling on and on and on about nothing in particular for so for so long, but oh, we need to get out of here. It's bouncing off. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, hopefully you guys have, have kind of seen where I'm coming from. And Again, you know, if you disagree with me, let's start a dialogue. Because I want to be the best reviewer I can possibly be. I go into these things trying to be as good as I can be. Um, I'm not, you know, I'm not good at video games. I'm, I'll openly admit admit that, although I seem to do pretty well with uh, Delver's Drop, so maybe I've just finally found my game. Uh, but as always, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching.